Joe. So this one is going to be my Stamina Thief Switch Axe build. This build, I well, originally I've made two videos prior to this, but I keep on finding out new things that's making me start it again. So, just to quickly go over the build that I have here, I have awoken my weapon for Devil Juice Essence, Exhaust File 6, um, and Status Effect. I can't um, get level 5. It. I think I... I need to roll it 14 times before it will give me that level 5. I'm not wasted. <laughs> 14 large Dracolite just for an additional 10 paralyzed so I just left it at 4 um, so just to go over the build at the moment I have critical eye f uh, 7 stamina fee 5 paralyzed attack 4 and you can see the rest for yourself now originally I made this build because I didn't want to do um, the whole infinite zero, su uh, zero sim discharge attack but with my handicraft as it currently is there's not many ways around it and unfortunately it's good <laughs> that's the worst thing about it it's um it's a really good attack um it does a lot of damage it's very boring very repetitive but i think i would only use this build with the right team um say there's a team very high dps maybe they've all got dual blades something like that this build will really help out with that so let's get into it so what I discovered on the first time using this, because if you look on the wiki, because before I even made this build, I thought to myself, why have I never seen anything with Stamina Thief? So looked on the wiki, there's not really any information about what Stamina Thief does. Um, tried looking in videos, but they seemed a bit outdated and didn't really explain how the skill works. So if you're watching this for the explanation of how Stamina Thief works, I really don't know. I hit the monster, they slow down. That's as much as I can really gather. Oh, those feet though. Um, no, 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 don't see me. That's what I look that way. Just gonna hide over here. Shh, don't see me. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, it's just a little rush loss as well. See if I can actually get it up in time. Good. So first paralyzed kicks in. I'm never sure which one is going to kick in first. Um, it's either usually the KO or the paralyzed, but paralyzed seems to be there's the KO. And that was the biggest um, surprise by using this: the fact that it actually does um, KO damage, which was a welcome surprise. So I don't. So while my other build is made for Lunastrous Essence, so I can um, essentially infinitely so let go. He's, he's paralyzed while my thing went up. Now I could probably fit. Um, so this build will probably change a little bit now that I've decided to still stick with the same way of playing with it. I'd probably recommend um, fitting in some power uh, prolonger if it, if at all possible. Oh, that's a bad time to run out. No, I'll just swipe on it. Okay, you kicked in next. So, that's the reason why I say this works very well as a support um, build. Obviously, because you're doing this attack, you're still a death. The stamina is kicking in, so now he's just standing there like a lost lemon. Or he's gonna be everything's gonna be extremely slow, which works out as well. Please don't me off you. And also with um, 
well, my Pelico's got it as well, but with my Paralyze being 400 and... I didn't mean to do that, huh? Knock him out of it. Also, another good thing about uh, Rigors, you can get your bar glowing in one, one combo. But again, this is taking longer than it would for my normal switch axe build, just because this build isn't meant for DPS. It's meant to KO, paralyze, and slow down the monster, so all your other teammates can do... Oh, no, that's gonna... Oh! I don't have earplugs on, so I expected that to... I guess his roar isn't the max. And this should be it. Okay, so it seems after oops, not his head. I can't even tell which one of them kicked in. So probably still not a bad time. Four minutes and twenty-five seconds to kill a, a goal. Um, Master and Raytheon is still pretty cool, but yeah, um, I think I prefer this more than my other build because. Essentially, the board, the build's boring. It is boring, you know. It was fun when you first discover it and um, all that, but after a while, it gets very dry. So I feel like making the build this way, um, I have more reasons to use it. If I see a team that's got like high DPS, like high risk, um, high reward, I would probably use this just to help them because you can't go wrong with KO and paralyze.